And on this week's edition of the Blast Newscast, we are going to have special coverage from Acquire the Fire, including um, some uh, an outlook from some of our team lab students on what this day means to all of them. I'm Jacob Pyle, live from Muncie, Indiana. I will have that story coming up. A daily chance of thunderstorms plus beautiful temperatures. I'm Levi Bennington, and I'll have further details in this week's weather forecast. Those stories and a whole lot more can be seen on this week's edition of the Blast Newscast for the week of April 16th, 2013. Coming to you live this week from Acquire the Fire in Muncie, Indiana, Jacob Pyle. And also, coming to you live from our studios in Sharpsville, Indiana, Rachel Keller. Thank you, Chris Henry. Hello and welcome to the Blast Newscast. I'm Rachel Keller. Jacob Pyle is live from Acquire the Fire in Muncie and will be live from there in a little bit. Acquire the Fire is a special youth conference every year where we go to learn more about our Lord. And it's a fun time with our Teen Blast students every year. Here with some more live highlights from Acquire the Fire is my co-anchor, Jacob Pyle. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Rachel. Yes, as you can see, this I'm actually live at the uh, Baymont Inns and Suites here in Muncie. But in a little while, we're going to go up to Acquire the Fire, and we're going to see all kinds of wonderful stuff. You know, this is amazing. This is my second year going. And the one thing I love seeing the most of all things would have to be the expressions that most people get on their faces usually. You know, knowing that God changes their lives. <laughs> you know, I see a lot of students that acquire the fire and, you know, I think it's wonderful how that simple con two-day conference can change someone's life. Here are some more, um, here with a little something about what, what this day means to all of us is Blast News cast reporter Brian Bookout. What's a fun place where we grow closer to our Lord and be able to share more about Him? It's called Acquire the Fire. Acquire the Fire is a fun youth conference that happens at Ball State every year. It's about getting to know and growing closer to our Lord. This year, we've seen a fun and amazing skit. Hey guys, you know how you were telling me earlier tonight about God's grace for me? Yeah? Well, don't you think he might have the same grace for Hillsdale? It includes great bands like Rapture Ruckus, Building 4029, and Satellite and Sirens. And even great speakers like... Ron Luce. What if today were the beginning of that? You're, you're, you're stepping, man. You're walking with him. You're going up that mountain. You and Jesus, for the rest of your life, it just becomes, the scripture calls it going from glory to glory, getting better and better and better. And Kemptel, Glasgow, among others. So I want to challenge this very first thing this morning. To push ourselves outside of our comfort zone. As we think that Lord, I want to challenge you. You might be tired. You may not have been to sleep. I want to challenge you. This is the one chance every year to be able to see what God has in store for us each year. And I must say, this is a terrific place to be if you want to learn more about our Lord. And if you weren't able to join us this year, we hope you can come next year because it's a lot of fun. For the last newscast, I'm Brian Bookout. Thank you, Brian. And that right there is how this special two-day conference changes people's lives, you know. I think it's wonderful how the Lord does many blessing things. In a little while, I'm going to be interviewing some of our Team Lab students about, about how Acquire the Fire has changed their lives so far. Rachel, back to you. Jacob Pyle, live from Acquire the Fire in Muncie, Indiana. Thanks, Jacob. Right, we will have more from Jacob later in the newscast. And now with a look at our other headlines that are making news today is Blast Newscast headline reporter J.R. Clifton. Thank you, Rachel. Hello, everyone. Here's our headlines for this week. On May 21st, we will be honoring the Team Blast students who will be graduating as part of the class of 2013. We hope you can be able to join us for that on Wednesday, June 12th. 
Team Blast is going to be on an all-day trip to Warren Dunes State Park in Michigan. It'll cost $15. Make sure you bring extra sunscreen and water, and make sure to dress according. Weather will be permitting. And finally, an important reminder that if you still want to go to Big Step Church Camp in Panama City Beach, Florida, to get your $50 deposit put in to secure your spot. We have 33 people. 33 people down that is going and camp is nearly full as of right now a spot will be guaranteed after you put your $50 down deposit and once you your $50 deposit is put in the money cannot be refunded so if you are still wanting to go to Big Stuff Church Camp put in your $50 deposit before it's too late those are our headlines for this week I'll be back at the end of the newscast for a preview of what you will see on next week's edition but for now I'm J.R. Clifton Thank you, JR. And now it's time for our weather with our rain or shine weatherman, Levi Bennington. Thank you, Rachel. Hello, everybody. Be prepared for a wet school week as we will be seeing beautiful temperatures, among other things. So for today, expect partly cloudy skies with a high of 76 degrees and a low of 60 degrees. Tomorrow, expect a chance of scattered strong thunderstorms with a high of 73 degrees and a low of 56 degrees. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week. I'm Matt Bennington, and that's today's weather. The Blast Newscast now has its own official website. The www.blastnewscast.weebly.com. Here you will find current episodes of the Blast Newscast. Catch up with past episodes of the newscast, get to know the people who make the Blast newscast possible, and even drop us a line with your questions, comments, suggestions, or ideas. As I said, it's all here at www.blastnewscast.weebly.com. That's www.blastnewscast.weebly.com. See you there! And now, continuing on with our live coverage from Acquire the Fire in Muncie, Indiana. After Acquire the Fire took place, Jacob Pyle went around and asked some of our Team Blast students on what they thought of the experience. And now, here again live from Muncie, Indiana, is our Blast Newscast co-anchor, Jacob Pyle. Thank you, Rachel. You know, after, um, I'd say after day one of Acquire the Fire, I went around and asked some of these Team Blast students about what Acquire the Fire has meant to them and how they've changed their lives. And here are some of the responses that we got. How has Acquired the Fire changed your life? Well, I mean, it's, it's opened my eyes to many things that I haven't looked at yet. And uh, it's bring me to the thought that, you know, I've got to do more for people around me. You know, I'm, I'm just at full in perspective that, I mean, I'm looking at friends and they're like, okay, you know, but really they could they could easily have something wrong with their life. And, I, you know, Acquire the Fire is making me want to reach out to those people, whoever they are. Even the small person at school, it doesn't matter. I'm just wanting to reach out to them. Well, I've been coming for the past three years and... It's just nice to see all the people praising the Lord, and uh, well, it really, it's really got me thinking about Jesus and what He has in store for us. You know, to tell you the truth, this is my second year going, and so I've learned a lot of things within these two years. You know, God has changed not just me, but all of us here at Team Bass in so many ways, and just being able to be here and be a be a part of this experience has not only showed me that that God loves but God actually cares and that's what I like and that's really what it has changed my life these past two years and I think that and I think that's why you know it's not about the lights it's not about the sound it's not about the, the people the people that are singing are doing it for the just for the audience or just for the heck of it. They're doing it because they love God, because they care for God, and I think that's what's the important thing. This year, it's really spoken to me, especially the worship. It's really brought my mind to think, and especially closer to God. He's really come to my heart and blessed my blessed my life. 
I thank him for that. So there you have it. Some of the responses that these uh, kids have gotten, you know? You know, didn't you notice how these responses were, you know, beautiful? You know, they've how they've actually expressed God's word and changed their lives. It really does, you know, this acquire the fire thing every year changes does change people's lives. And you know what? I cannot wait until next year. Hey, looking for something to do on a weekday afternoon? Come up and join us for Team Blast. Our address is 210 South Main Street here in Sharpsville, Indiana, 46068. Anyone 6th grade or older is welcome. We're open after school on Mondays and Wednesdays through Friday from 3 to 6. And Tuesdays from 3 to 9 with Tuesday service from 6.30 to 8.30. Come join us, won't you? And now, with a look at what you will be seeing on next week's newscast, is Blast Newscast headline reporter J.R. Clifton. Thanks, Rachel. On next week's edition of the Blast Newscast, we are going to present another one of our lesson learning skits. It's about a radio show where kids give their testimonies. Listen to these stories that people had to say. Join us as Team Blast Newscast presents the testimony show. That's coming up on next week's edition of the Blast Newscast. I'm J.R. Clifton. We'll see you then. Thank you, JR. And with that, that'll be it for this week. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rachel Keller. Good night from Team Blast, and good night to you, Jacob. Thank you, Rachel and JR. I hope you had a wonderful time here as we brought you this live coverage, live here from Acquire the Fire, and we hope you had a wonderful time. I know I did. <laughs> and with that, that'll be it for this week. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jacob Pyle. Until next week, good night. And God bless my friends. This is Chris Henry speaking for the Blast Newscast. This program has